for Christmas. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I got the call. Suits us both, mind. Her new fella's taken her away for a few days. <laughs> she saw you come in. Uh, thank you, Beth. But my Dylan coming to stay with me for Christmas is the best present I could have. Never mind him catching the train up here. He should be arriving on the back of Santa's sledge. Are we getting nearly dark? It's Christmas Eve. A very successful businessman once said Christmas is a poor excuse of the 25th of December to pick a man's pockets. Who with that, Alan Sugar? Ebenezer Scrooge. But I mean, let's face it, the nightcap certainly fits. Normally, we have a works do at Christmas. Drinks on the owner. Yeah, well, the owner isn't here. I thought you were taking over. It shouldn't be too long now. Carla's had the valuation. Oh, really? Well, in that case, you should definitely stick your hand in your pocket. Some money behind the bar at the Rovers. I don't know. Might be tempting fate. If you don't give in, then you won't get a wink of sleep tonight. You will be visited by three ghosts tugging at your quilt. <laughs> yeah, either that, or us like I'll send Beth round wearing now, but she. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll go and get you money. Oh, yeah, very funny. <laughs> Jealous is an ugly thing. Do you know that? Christmas to you too, Mrs. Pettigrew. And you. See ya. Finally, Roy. I thought that Eccles Kate was going to see in the new year. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first Christmas since her, since her husband died. Oh. I know this time of year can be very difficult with, without a partner. I'll survive. What about you, though, here on your own? You know Anna said you're very welcome at hers for your dinner. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I've spent as many Christmases alone as not. <laughs> Even so, it's no fun on your tod. Ah, well, I shan't be. I've got a new recording of Chopin's Nocturnes to enjoy and a weighty trollop to grapple with. What more could a man wish for? Right. Well, why don't you knock off, then? I can finish up here. Are you sure? Only I could do with speaking to Hayley on the laptop before long. And Milton's having friends round for eggnog this afternoon. Oh, well, you get going, then. Hey, and wish you a Merry Christmas from me. Mwah. Oh. Roy. Yes. <laughs> Hiya. Where have you been? Only fresh go. It was hell. Women shouting at the kids, scrapping over packets of stuff in. All to the strains of I wish it could be Christmas every day. We've got our Christmas shopping. I know, but I wanted tonight to be extra special. I've got wine, chocolates, softy CD. I thought we could have a romantic night in wrapping Ruby's presents. Oh, right. I've said that I'll go and see Connie before Christmas. Oh, so that first Christmas Eve as a family, I've blown out the works due for it. I'm sorry, but I should be gutted if I didn't go. She hasn't got anyone, has she, since Jack and her sister died? I'll be an hour, hour and a half tops, and then we can wrap Ruby's presents when I get back. I suppose it'll all keep. Don't be long. Of course. Cheers. Hey! <laughs> Where have you been? I was getting worried. Oh, sorry. I hope won't settle for Katie. Try with a bottle of Guinness. Always works for boobs. <laughs> Can you stay long? Got about an hour. Hour and a half. <laughs> she thinks I've gone sick on it. Hey, I wouldn't use that excuse too much, you know. Kirsty will be getting jealous. She'll be loosening the wheels on Connie's tartan shopping trolley. I do not want to wear the name Kirsty. Tonight is about you and me. <laughs> Our Christmas. The only one that matters. Gold. I love rose gold. Found it in an antique shop. 14 carat Edwardian. I love the fact it's old. I thought it was a bit quirky like you. Quirky? I mean, a one off. You never go with a herb. <laughs> it was gleaming in the shop window. Reminding me of your hair. Have you sold a romance now? <laughs> right, hang on. This is going to seem dead boring now. I've charged it up and I've put it on silent. That's fantastic. It's pay as you go. Put 30 quid credit on it. Cos you know she'll be checking your old one. She'll be going through your bills. Only you ever phone me off this one. It's a lifeline. That'll keep me sane. I'm sorry, it's so practical. I love it. It's the best present ever. And, um, I've transferred those photos of your injuries onto it. Cos I can't bear having them on mine. They're on here for when we need them. It's time. This time next year we'll be a proper family. You, me, and our girls. Are you sure? I texted Stella back, told her Leanne's here. Mm. I didn't go into all that. That's my point, is there? Not when she's stuck in a taxi queue. <laughs> no. There you go. Nice and a slice. 
What happens to the customers are always right? It's water or nothing. Come on. A little piddly bottle of beer. David, you are best man in 15 hours' time, OK? You need to smile wide and lay in the charm of the trowel. Yeah, three cheers for marriage. <laughs> oh, you love being married. It's about lunatic. What if you can do better? No, get real, David, OK? She's the love of your life and you're in danger of blowing it. Is that a definite no to the beer, then? Right. Stay there, drink that, keep your gobs shut. I love you, too. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I might come home soon, though. My back's starting to ache. Oh, very wise. Yeah. Um, if you're at a loose end tomorrow, though, come over to ours and stuff yourself stupid. Oh, I'll be in here with my mum and Lloyd and stuff myself stupid. Well, I might come in then, about three-ish. Swear the Queen's speech. Great. Well, see you then. Yeah, I'll see you later. Look at you, beetroot. Oh, give it a rest. Bang to rise. Oh, yes. Leave the time. It's not fair. I know. Doesn't whiz by when I'm with her. I know, babe. We just gotta keep the faith. Amen. Get it? <laughs> and pray for better jokes. Mm. Right. Which direction would you come from if you've been to Connie's? I would be coming from Bidock Street. Right, so you need to go to the Ginnel, stand there for ten minutes, then double back round. Don't take any chances. Well, what's we waiting in the back alley for ten minutes? Because if you go home all warm and toasty, she's gonna get suspicious. I feel like I'm in a spy film. And then if she kisses you, you'll be nice and chilly. Do us a favour. Get MI5 on the phone. I've got a new recruit for him. <laughs> How was Connie, by the way? She was fine. She, uh, she says hi. No, she was down in the dump. She was missing Jack. She got all the old photos out. You couldn't get away. She sends all the love to Ruby and Kirsty. Oh, and he's a tenner for Ruby. Ah, I'm starting to feel guilty now. I'm going to have to go and see her for real. you just got to be careful, yeah? Yes, Kirsty. No, Kirsty. Three bags full, Kirsty. And keep that phone hidden and on silent. Yeah, it's weird, though. Yeah, go on. I actually feel a bit sorry for her. She's genuinely excited about this wedding. Believes that it's a fresh start. Right, and what do you believe? Oh, I think she means it. Like she did the last time, and the time before that, and the time before that. She's out of control, and she's a danger to Ruby. Yeah. So just hold that thought. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Roof's are asleep. She might even go through till four o'clock if we're lucky. Oh, well, I'll see to her. Oh, it's my turn. Might even bring you breakfast in bed if you're lucky. <laughs> How's Connie? A bit down in the dumps. Mm. She'll be missing Jack. Yeah. But she made a right fuss over you. Well, she got the fault while I'm out, so I stayed a bit longer than I planned. It's OK. You can't just rush off. It's a good deed for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fussle. Come here. I know. I'll get the kettle on. 2013 is going to be our year, you know. I hope so. I'm a lucky woman. I know I don't always show it, but I am. I love you. I love you too. You know this Christmas jumper? You hate it. I love it. I, I love it. It's just... It's 98 degrees in here. I'm going to pass out in a minute. <laughs> you do know Ruby chose it. She peeped when she saw the green one. And what she do when she saw this? She said, Dad, 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 Daddy. <laughs> Girl's got good taste. Well, she takes after her mum, you see. <laughs> hey. <coughs> Oh, no! I don't believe it! Oh, it's Fresh Game's finest free range. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Are you okay? It's toasted! It's toasted! Oh, I, I put it on grill instead of roasting. Now the top is burnt and the underneath's cold and it's all ruined! Doesn't matter. Does it matters? It's Ruby's first Christmas. Everything needs to be perfect. Shut up! Ruby don't even eat turkey. Hey, 
anyway, I, I'd, I'd prefer a plate of pigs in blankets. Peasant. Them covered in tomato sauce. Now that is a perfect crimbo dinner. You're thinking a year from now we'll laugh about this? Hi, Will. I'm glad the boiler packed in today. That was amazing. Uh, is that OK? Can I help it, Chessie, if I'm no better in the kitchen than my mother? Oh, was she no dearly a love? No, she wasn't. Listen, in our entire lives, she cooked us one Christmas dinner. It was prawn toast toppers, it was a turkey pot noodle... And a chocolate and orange for afters. Yeah. Mmm, yum! No, no. Do you remember, Chess? She was trying to impress some bloke down the Legion from the darts team. Hey, not Big Tom Abrams. No, he said he was a Vietnam vet, but we think he fell under a drum. Yeah. Oh, and I heard it was piranha fish. What in the air, well? Last time I go swimming in the egg. Talking <laughs> of swimming, who fancies going for a dip with me on Friday? What in the air, well? In our very own hot tub. <laughs> I've only gone and booked two woodland lodges in the lakes for the gang. Yeah. yeah. You and all fish. Oh, come here, Chess. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go back to the house, Owen. I'll give Anna a break, OK, from the nappies in the pots. Sorry, I'll go for you. No, no, you stay. I'll go. Time you weren't here, Missy. Uh, it's Christmas night. Yeah, and I've seen you flinching whenever someone bumps into you. Go home and get some rest. Going on. Um, we're not recovering from major spinal trauma. Will you listen to the expert and I'll give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, I'll see you soon and Merry Christmas. Hey, you too. Merry Christmas. Another pint? You sure? <laughs> Till tonight. I can't believe it when you said you were free all day. She doesn't got many mates. Mm. That's why she sticks to me like a limpet. <laughs> have I seen her? Gone to sales. You know, last night when you saw me and Kirsty looking cosy. Yeah, don't worry. I know it's only for show. Do you like it? Yeah. It's the nicest necklace anyone's ever bought me. Not bad for a fiver off the market. <laughs> How was your Christmas? Yeah, it was all right, but we were frozen. What? Because that boy was playing up again. Oh, how come and have another look at it? Oh, no, I don't know, Ty. I don't think you should come to the house. Why well, won't take long? I'll nip round later. All right, but we have to be careful. I've missed you. I've missed you too. That's... Oh, yeah, it's really hot, that now. Mm, thanks for fixing it. It's no props. Can't believe I'm going to be warm again. Oh, no, I'm not going to see you for a couple of days, though, because you're going to the lakes. No, I can't bear it. I've got my secret phone. I'll ring you. Promise. And try and stop me. <laughs> right, come on, you best get going. Out the back door. I'm gonna see you before you go. Yeah, hope so. Love you. Thank you. Go, go, go. Hi, Chaz. Oh, it's warm in here. You have that boiler fix? Yes, certainly have. Oh. Landlord got back to you then? Uh, no, I've got someone else. Where's Katie? She found it at number six. Anna's offered to babysit while we go to the pub. Do you wanna come? Yeah, I can do. Yeah, I'll just put some lippy on. All we got to do now is find the money for the gas bill. Oh, moan, moan, moan. We've lost almost a third of our district nurses. We used to have 12,000. We've now only got about 8,000. If that trend continues, and it's not going to continue, it's not going to continue. Oh, you look how I feel. <sighs> Me and Katie are both walking up with hangovers. She's still in bed. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I've got a splitting headache. Yeah, me too, but I hardly drank anything, you know. I'm wondering if it's flu. I feel a bit sick as well. I think it's the beer in the rollers. I'm not sure Stella even knows how to keep it. Oh, I could miss the real ale expert. No, it's because it's Christmas, isn't it? You run round like a mad person for a week before. Do we have any paracetamol? Yeah, in the top cupboard. Oh. Just our luck to get ill when we're on holiday, of course. I don't fancy that drive up to the lakes. Do you? It's miles away. Mm. Well, I'm sure we'll feel better when we get away, eh? Nice food, no shopping or housework to do. Let's think positive. Who's that? Um, it's a mobile phone company. Telling me I've got 23 texts on New Year's Eve. It's generous of them. Where's <laughs> oh. kids? Um, your dad's taking them to the park. She'll be back in a minute. 
wonders will never cease. Well, he kept going on about what a wonderful father he used to be to you and Izzy, so I told him, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Are you all right, Fizz? Oh, I've just got a bug or something. Oh, that's not fair, love, just when we're off on our holidays. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine, really. <sighs> not having any eating over Christmas can't have helped. Have we not got that fixed yet? Oh, yeah, Fizz has sorted it. And you've been stressed, you know, lately, what with all the problems at the factory. It must have taken its toll. Yeah, maybe. You shouldn't come, you know. What? Well, if you're feeling this rough, you should stay at home, rest up. Yeah, we can look after home. No, then it'd be more work for you. Well, not really. Yeah, it'd be crazy if you went away and made yourself worse. No, but what about you two? You were feeling rough and all. Well, we went for a walk. I feel all right after a bit of fresh air. Me too. Maybe it's two different bugs. I do feel absolutely lousy. Yeah, well, no offence, I don't want to catch it, and I don't want Faye or Rowan to catch it either. <laughs> Are you sure you won't ah! mind? That's settled then. Well, it's a part for an hour or so. Don't come too near me. But why? Well, I'm safe for a bit, so I thought we could make the most of it. I know, but I've got this stinking bug tie. I don't need to catch it. Oh, yeah, you do look a bit peak, eh? I'm not going away because of it. No. Yeah, the others have gone without me. Oh, sorry to hear that. Still, it means I get to see more of you. <laughs> You're going to go to the doctor's? I'll see how it goes. Yeah. Why, if I can do any shopping for you or anything? No, thanks, I'm fine. At least you've got your eating back on. Can't tell you what a relief it feels to be staying. <laughs> I'll tell you what we could do if you feel up to it. We could go into town one day and have some lunch. Yeah, that'd be nice. Take Ruby with us. How are you going to manage that, though? We cursed you around. I'll think of something. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Yeah, OK, Connie. Nice talking to you two. See you soon. ta -ra. How was she? Fine. Although she's got a problem on her car. Said I'd go and see her Monday, look at it. Can't she bring it here? Well, she could, but she's getting old, isn't she? Getting confused and that, you know? Shouldn't be driving old then, should she? Well, that's not for me to judge. A car's a lifeline to a lot of old people, isn't it? Mm, I suppose. Well, what do you do about Ruby? I'll take her with me, Connie can look after her. Or I could take the afternoon off and come with you, if you like. Yeah, but it'd probably be boring for you. Me under the bonnet, you having to talk to Connie the whole time. Mm, when you put it like that, I think I'll give it a miss. Yeah. I'll oh, just get back to work. Mm. Bye. Bye. Dad, and one for you. Well, in your stomach. What? New Year's Eve. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Well, I just thought we were staying in tonight. Well, yeah, but I still want to have a few drinks. Got a lot to celebrate, haven't we? This one for a start. Not to mention the wedding. Just a shame Connie can't come. See me make an honest man of you. I know, yeah, she's gutted. What time are you going to fix the car? Said about half two. I hope she appreciates all this free work you're doing for her. I don't mind. She's practically family. I know. Just don't like sharing you with anyone. Even her. Oh, you're so I thought you'd gone away with Chesney and the others. Oh, no. Change of plan, Emily. I was going to, but I think I'm coming down with flu. Oh, dear. Yeah. I just feel tired all the time. I'm really light-headed. Just been to get some tablets and stuff. Oh, so I take it you won't be celebrating tonight? No, nope. no. Nope. Mm. <laughs> what about you? Oh, probably have a quiet drink with Norris and Mary. Mm. To be honest, I think I'd rather have the flu. <sighs> Not this one, you wouldn't. I feel mm. awful. Try a hot bath. Usually works for me. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, mm. I will give that a try. Mm. If that boil is not packed up again. Anyway, happy new year. Yes, and you. <laughs> and you, Chris. Bye. Hey, uh. Hi, Chris. You all right? Sound out of breath? Oh, yeah, no, I just liked it downstairs. I'm running a bath, trying to shake off this flu or whatever it is. All right, you still feeling rope? Yeah, I am a bit. 
Well, I'd offer to come around and scrub your back, but... Probably not a good idea right now. <laughs> well, if you're not for meeting up later, I'll understand. No, it's fine. I'll be there. I really want to see you. Yeah, me too. How about half two at the shops near the playground? Yeah, can't wait. Me neither. I'll let you get back to your bath. You got your rubber duck? Yeah. He's up there waiting for me now. <laughs> It's a lucky Donald. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Come on, Fizz. I know, I know. Daddy's getting tired of waiting too. Try and give it a call on the back phone, eh? Hi, Fizz. Hello. What time is it? Well, it's half three. Are you OK? Sorry, I must have nodded off. Oh, look, Ty, I don't think I'm up to meeting you. I feel really rough now. Oh, I feel loads worse than I did before. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to go. Fizz? <sighs> Hello? Nah, I've always been more of a word man. <laughs> so what do we do now then? Let me see if we can get off early. Oh, what are you thinking? Shall I have a word with Carl? Try a bit of the old Kurt Meister charm. I've got a better idea. Hi Rob. In for your lunch. Yeah. Have anything nice? <laughs> All right, cut to the chase. What do you want? Me and Kirk have finished everything in packing and we were wondering, same as it's New Year's Eve, if we could get off early. Nice try. Ask Carl here. It's all right, I heard you. Mm. Go on then, off you go. Really? Mm. Even I can't say no to a face like that. Oh, thanks all, Mrs. C. <laughs> Can I um, have a word in private? Yeah. Mm. All right for some, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon you owe us all a drink tonight. Don't hold your breath. The entire having a quiet one. Oh, that's nice. No, it's not. It's that sad. We've got to come out. I haven't got a babysitter. Do what I do with Craigie. Why, well, what do you do with Craigie? Tell him we're playing hide and seek and that he can go first. And then while he's waiting for me to find him, I nip off down the pub, neck a couple of pint sharpish, then back out. Works every time. I think Ruby's a bit young for that, but if we do sort something out, I might see you later. I'm off then, honey bunny. Mm, tell me something I don't know. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'll think of you while I'm drinking my pint. You'd really do that for me? You know I would. See you later. Mm. Carla's been talking about the accounts. She she knows something's wrong. How? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because she can see the burn marks from where you've been cooking them. Because the figures don't add up. Look, it's fine. I've covered my tracks. Oh. As long as we don't admit to anything, we're safe. Now stop worrying. And where do you think you're going? Well, I thought it might be best if I make myself scarce for an hour or two. Oh, I see. So where am I supposed to tell you you've gone? Out to lunch. Another one? Yeah, I know. Amazing how I keep my figure, innit? Come on, Fizz, answer the phone. Hiya. Hiya. You quick. What? Fixing Connie's car. Oh, yeah, well, it, it was nothing in the end. It's just I hadn't topped up the oil. Oh. Little old lady drivers, eh? <laughs> well, it's good you're own, because I've got a surprise for you. I finished work for the day, so I thought I'd fix her something to eat before we go out. Oh? Yeah, I asked Emily if she'd babysit, and she said yes, so looks like I'm going to the pub after all. Right. Well, don't look too happy. No, no, I am. It's, it's just a surprise, that's all. But why don't you go and get the food on, and I'll go and get a bottle of wine from Dad's for later. Ah, already sorted. Come on, let's get Ruby inside. It's freezing out here. Yeah. Go on, missus. Oh. Don't you know? Oh, of course not. 
It's always a pleasure. <laughs> and seeing as I thought I was seeing in the new year with Norris and Mary, it'll make a change to have some intelligent conversation. Oh, well, if she doesn't settle, you know where we are. Oh, we'll be fine, won't we, little one? <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Cheers. Oh, Enjoy. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing, why? You seem really wound up, like you're in a hurry or something. I don't think you tasted your tea. You were shoveling it in that fast. Just wanted to get in the pub before it's run. Make sure we get a seat. Well, we'd better go then. Actually, uh, I think I've left my wallet. But why don't you go in? I'll meet you in there. I'll get you a pint. OK. Fizz, it's Tyrone. Oh, you made it to the pub then. Looks like it. So did you get a babysitter, or did you go for Bev's hide and seek idea? <laughs> babysitter? Oh, sound. Yes, love, what can I get you? Time for Ty, large white wine for me. And whatever he's having. Fizz, are you in there? Responding. She's breathing, but I don't know what's wrong with her. Please, just send an ambulance now. It's gonna be all right, Fizz. Just hold on. Please, just hold on. It's all right. You're gonna be okay. The ambulance is on its way. Please don't let anything happen to her. Please, God. Tina, it's me. She's still breathing, but I don't know how long she's been unconscious. It could have been hours. Wait, is this how you found her? Yeah, yeah, we were supposed to meet up in town, but she didn't turn up. I thought she just had Wait, flute. Tyrone, just try and calm down. How can I? I came to see if she was okay, and she wasn't answering. I, I looked through the window, and I just seen her lying there. I love her so much. What am I going to do? She'll be fine, okay? I'm sure of it. Where's the flaming ambulance? Where's Kirsty? She's in the pub. I told her I'd left my right, wallet. Well, so hadn't you better get back? I'm not going. Tyrone, there's an ambulance on the way with a big flashing light and waving siren. You can't be caught in here. No, I'm going to the hospital with this. I don't care if right, Christy finds not? out. Think about Ruby. I can't leave her. She's really a wife. She dies. Right, she, right, she will not die. She might. I'll stay with Fizz. You go back to Kirsty. Tyrone, go! Sorry, that seat's taken. Oh, and this one. Who by? Us. Have you got a table each? Well, we're just making sure we get good seats. It gets really busy on New Year's Eve. You can't reserve two whole tables. I've been sat here since four. Have you spoken to Stella about this? No. But you're hogging half the pub. No, it'd be like a little VIP section for our mates. I'm your mate. We live together. Am I allowed in your VIP section? Of course. I'm plus one, Tyrone's forgot his wallet. Oh, that old chestnut. <laughs> I mean, he came out without it, he's gone to fetch it. Oh, yeah. you're right, as white as a sheep. Yeah, I just feel tired. You've gone ages. It was on top of the tally, I couldn't see it for looking. Got your pint. Maybe I should stick to lemonade. On New Year's Eve, it's our big night, come on. I know, but we both can't go mad. What if something happens with a baby? You go for it. I intend to. <laughs> Snip into the loo. Fizz, can you hear me? Is it you that found her like this? Yeah. She hasn't sustained any injuries that you're aware of? She was, she was just lying here. Um, she was feeling flu yesterday. Is she under any medication? I no idea, I'm sorry. Is she normally quite healthy? Yeah, you know, really healthy, lovely, bubbly girl. She will be okay, won't she? We need to get her to hospital as fast as we can. It's Fizz. Whatever's happened? I hope the kiddies are all right. Well, the children are on holiday with Chesney and Katie. They came in for sweets for the journey. I found her unconscious. Do you know what's wrong with her? Uh, no, no, they're going to take her to hospital now. Are you coming with us? Yeah, um, will you let Stella know that I won't be in work? Yes, of course yeah. we will. We were going there anyway, love, don't yes. worry. Oh, a rope's for cordoning off a VIP area. That would be nice. Only you're not a VIP, and you can't hog tables unless I say so. OK? People want to sit down, they can. Oh, Stella. 
I've got a message for you from Tina. Oh, don't tell me she's not coming in, not tonight. She found Fizz unconscious. Oh. She's had to go with it in an ambulance to the hospital. Ambulance? Who's gone in an ambulance? Fizz. <gasps> Did you hear that? Fizz is on her way to hospital. Well, do they know what's wrong with her? No, but it looks serious. I mean, I know she's right to go with Fizz, but it does leave me in the lurch. Well, I'll give you hand if you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Doctor. Cheers, love. Oh, lovely. Cheers. I found her in the house. She could have been there all night. It's just terrible. I should have kept a closer eye on her. I knew she was ill. Well, we don't even know what's happened yet. It's obviously something serious. Art space infractor. Yet my hope is unbroken. It's the family motto. You always know exactly what to say. Hey, come on. We can't let this spoil our night. Clearly. Whatever's wrong with this, she still wants us to get bladdered. Yeah, she's right. Yeah. She would. I'm with Beth. I say we all get hammered. It's New Year's Eve. Yay! Come on. I'm just going to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Tommy. Is it okay? I feel like my head's going to explode. Why? I've been seeing Fizz. Seeing that, I can't go into details now, but I went round before and I found her unconscious. Or when? About an hour ago, Tina's gone to hospital with her. T Tina? Yes, I had to scroll back here and then cover my tracks. Then I had to act all surprised when everyone found out. It's such a long life. I just slow down, eh? I walked out on her when she needed me most. I can't even look upset in case Kirsty twigs. What if she dies? I can't even phone the hospital and find out who she is. I'll phone Tina, all right? I'll see what's happening, then I'll report back to you. Would you? Yeah. Thanks. Amen. All right, Tommy, lad. On BP cuff, SATS probe, 3D DCG, thank you. All drugs ready, propofol, succamathomian, and a spare just in case. Cricoid pressure. Doing that now. <laughs> Hello? It's me. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm phoning for Tyrone. Is there any news? Um, we don't know what's happening yet. Tommy, the doctor's in there with her now. Oh, I've got to go. Right, well, just call me if you hear something, yeah? Is it true that Fiona's been um, ill for a day or two? Um, yeah, we thought she had the flu, you know, she was tired, headache, sickness. And does she live with anyone? Yes, her brother, his partner and their baby. And have any of them reported symptoms? I don't know, they're away. Has she had any problems with any um, heating appliances lately? Yes, her boiler, but she did get it fixed. Why? I think with a case of seal poison. Thanks. Thank you for your help. Hi, hi. Oh. Um, will you let me know what's going on, please? Fiona's unconscious because she's been breathing in carbon monoxide. And at this stage, we don't know where it's come from. But there is a significant risk that she could suffer brain damage. No. I'm sorry. Then we're going to give her treatment in a hyperbaric chamber. In this case, we feel it gives her the best chance of a, of a good recovery. How long were you there? Um, not long, but I am pregnant. We're going to have to get you checked straight away, OK? We'll be all right, you know. She's in safe hands. Yeah, I'm right. Tina. Joking. Last drinks before midnight. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, the shots coming. Yes. <laughs> it's not good news, I'm afraid, mate. Doctors think she might have carbon monoxide poisoning. What? She, she's still unconscious now, but the, the doctors are worried that she might have brain damage. I don't get it out. What the appliance do you think? I mean, gas cooker, fire, boiler. Boiler? Um. Lightweight, your lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> hey. OK, everybody, it's time for the countdown. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! It was the boiler. I fixed it. I can't be sure about that. Fizz might have brain damage, Tommy. And it's all my fault. Happy, Happy New Year, Gail! Happy New Year! Hey, cheers, Cheers! Cheers!
acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. Should old acquaintance be forgot for the sake of old Lang Syne? For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. What's going on, Jess? I wish you. Are you the family? Yeah, I'm a brother. We've uh, we've been away. We came as soon as we could, Doctor. I'm afraid your sister has suffered carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh God! Fizz had the boiler fixed last week. That could be it. Is she going to be all right? We've given her treatment in a hyperbaric chamber, which provides oxygen under pressure, and this um, reoxygenates the brain to hopefully prevent any possible neurological damage. Hopefully. We've put her in an induced coma for now, but there is a significant risk that she could have suffered permanent brain damage. And we won't know until we wake her up. Oh, no. Can you not say any more? I know this is very difficult, but she was very lucky to be found when she was. Can I sit with her? Yes, yes, of course you can. Hey, thank God for you. Love you, go. I mean, I'm exhausted. Yeah, OK. Can't thank you enough, you know, Tina. See you. Mm. See you. Rose is gone. I can't believe she's still asleep. Well, I can. She was up half the night. Didn't even hear her. Must have been dead to the world. All right, you've been quiet. Worried about Fizz? No, I'm, I'm just knackered for getting up with Madam. I'm sure Fizz is fine. Right, I better get off. Do you want to take me while I'm out? No. Have Fizz. Give us a kiss then. Mm. See ya. Have a nice day. I don't know. No, no, she is. What? I don't know. The doctor said they're putting her in this, um, I, c I can't think of the name. It's like a chamber that puts oxygen into your system. And then they're going to wake her up and see if there's any permanent damage. Huh? I've just spoke with uh, Hayley. Uh, delay the situation. Uh, we, we both feel that I should be down at the hospital. No, there's really no point why she's still asleep. Look, have you got Chessie's number? Yeah, I do, yes. That will ring him, he'll keep you involved. We're both very fond of Fizz. It's, it's just dreadful. Yeah. I've got to get down the hospital. But you can't. Look, the wind asses are sat with her. If you go barging in there, it's bound to get back to Kirsty. You don't get it, do you? It was me that fixed the boiler. If this is carbon monoxide poisoning, then it's down to me. You idiot, what are you playing at? And I sent you in there? No. And you're pregnant? No, I'm fine. Look, I've been checked out. I'm fine. Take it easy. What am I going to do? If she dies, it's down to me. Fiona, can you open your eyes for me? Can you hear me? Fizz, it's Chesney and Katie. What are you? Chesney, what's happened? Where am I? You're in Weatherfield General Hospital. You've been poisoned by carbon monoxide. You were unconscious when you were brought in. Well, where's Hope? She was with us, you remember? On holiday. Don't worry, she's fine. Emma's looking after her and Joseph. How are you feeling? Like I've got the worst hangover in the world. Fiona, you can understand me, yes? Yeah. Can you tell me your name? Fiona State. Excellent, Fiona. And do you know what year it is? It depends how long I've been out for. It's probably 2013. I'm going to do some more tests, but you're thinking clearly, which is an excellent sign. Mm. You've been very lucky, Fiona. OK, no worries. That's fine. You're on the phone, Tim. Police. I thought I'd already been notified of it before. Mm. Who's the elder she had messing with the body? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Are you OK? Uh, you can come back in now, if you like. Hey, listen, um, me and Owen will go and help Katie with the babies. So It'll give you some time on your own. Yeah, OK. Well, thanks for being here. Oh. Hey, where else would we be? Yeah, and give her our love. OK. Um. All right, mate. Come on. How are you feeling? Confused more than anything. I thought I'd lost you. No. You won't get rid of me that easily, Chess. 
Oh, yeah, it's banging now. I'll get the nurse to get you some painkillers. But you're very lucky there's no permanent damage. Thanks, Doctor. Owen, Anna and Katie are looking after the kids. They send the love. Oh, Ta. Who was it who found me? Tina. Called the ambulance and everything. She was with her with you all night. Who was it that fixed the boiler? Um, I can't remember, you know. Um, it was just a flyer that came through the door. Well, the police don't want to speak to him. Was it a local for her? I, I don't know. We'd have all been there like normal. We could have all been killed. Joseph and all, they wouldn't have stood a chance. I don't bear thinking yeah, about Yeah, well, look, Jess, everyone's OK. Yeah, everyone except the cowboys that did this. Anyway, the police are on the case. And whoever it was, they'll find them. And I hope they lock them up for a long time. Chesney just left. Well, you gave us a real scare. Everyone's been so worried about you. How are you feeling? I'm much better. And I'm so grateful, Tina. You saved my life. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did, because they've said that if you hadn't have found me... It was Tyrone. Been... Hey? He found you. He, he had to leave because Kirsty was waiting for him in the pub. So I had to make out that I found you. It's him that you should be thanking. Oh, my God, poor Tyrone. Is he all right? He's in bits. Well, will you tell him I'm fine? And the doctors have told me there's no lasting damage. <sighs> well, that's a relief. <sighs> I'll text him when I leave. He's gone out of his mind for He's desperate to come and see you. He yeah. can't. Well, that's what I said no, to him. No, because if someone sees him in Tina and well, it gets back to Kirsty. Don't OK? He'll be fine now he knows that you are. You mean the world to him, Fitz? I'm just going to pick up my magazines. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine. Tommy! You all right? Hey, I heard Fizzy's going to be OK. I can't stand that, Tina. It's killing me having to make out that everything's fine. Do you think it's because of what you did to the boiler? Well, it must be. Well, right, Ty. Great news about Fizz, eh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what sort of person messes around with gas when they've not got a clue what they're doing? You didn't have to come meet me off the bus. Well, I needed some nappers anyway. I've got some money on you now. Yeah. I'd have thought the police would call back by now. Chess, just think of the positives, right? Joseph's safe, Fizzy's fine. No thanks to whoever fixed our boiler. Actually, come to think of it, Tyrone fixed it last time it broke. You right, Ty? If you heard about Fizz, she's going to be OK. Yeah, thank God. Give my best when you talk to her, eh? Of course. Oh, well, she's staying in again tonight, but the doctor reckons she should be out by tomorrow. You don't know who fixed our boiler, do you? Fizz can't remember. I know you looked at it last time. Yeah, I know, but that was weeks ago. What was weeks ago? When I fixed Fizz's boiler. You're not certified to do that. You've not been round there fixing it again, have you? No. It was me. You? What the hell do you know about boilers? Not very much, obviously. But, Jez, I'm sorry, I was just trying to do a favor. Just save it for the coppers, yeah? They'll be in touch. Yes, come on. Let's go and get Joseph. What was he thinking? Fizz could have died. Yeah, I, I know. Come on, babe, let's go home. Should have known you'd have something to do with it. You're a disaster zone. Fifteen minutes earlier, could have got that for half the price at Dev's. You want your head red, messing with people who boilers. Everyone knows you've got a big gas safe registered. The whole family could have died. What's he talking about? Chesney kept banging on about Tyrone fixing the boiler in front of Kirsty. What, what else could I do without dropping Tyrone? Oh, Tommy, look. Right, it was a brave thing for you to do. But you do know you could be in a lot of trouble if the police get involved. It was a spoiler moment. I had pine, please, Tina. Yeah, sure. There you go. Keep it changed, Tina. Feeling a bit flush at the moment. No, Tom. What's his text? What's he say? He says he wants to meet you at your place after you finish your shift. Yeah, come, come before. Let's wait for Kirsty to go to bed. You do know how much trouble Tommy could be in, Tyrone. I mean, the police could come knocking at any time. I know. Any news on Fizz? Yeah, she's much better. The 
keeping her another day for observation, but she's fine. <sighs> thank God. Can't thank you enough for what you did. It's all right, mate. No. After the way me and Kirsty treated you. But you're still my mate. Look, this is all very sweet and everything, but you do know it could go down. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh, how do you know? Because if it gets that far, I'll loan up. Yeah, but what about Kirsty? Mate, if she finds out about you and Fizz, then... You're not going to go down for this. If it comes to it, I'll tell the truth. I'll just face the consequences with Kirsty, won't I? Fizz. Hiya. Well, that's some bouquet. Did they come with the gardener? Yeah, I know. I feel like a right plonk on the bus with them. They're from Tyrone. He wanted to come himself, but, you know. <laughs> I understand. How's he bearing up? It's been better. He feels terrible about what happened. Oh, well, please tell him not to. Look, I'm over the worst. And he was only trying to help. I was only trying to help. If, if anyone asks, you've got to tell them it was me. Oh, no, that's really good of you, Tommy, but I've sorted it. I told Chesney it was some bloke who put a fire through the yeah, door. well, he didn't buy it, I'm afraid. He sussed it was Tyrone, and then he confronted him in the street in front of Kirsty. No, no, what happened? No, look, it's all right. I was there, jumped in, said it was me. I mean, Kirsty seemed happy, which is more than I can say for your brother. Oh. He's been worried sick. Oh, I'm it's sorry. All right. It's all right. You! Chez, calm down. Calm down! This idiot nearly killed you! Maybe I should go away. Yeah, yeah you're flaming well, should. Chesney! Stop it! Go on, get lost. Next time you see her, I hope it's in the dock. Good day. Hey! Right. I want a word of you, sunshine. Owen, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, not right? as sorry as my daughter and her grandchild might have been, let alone Tina and a baby. What the hell do you think you were playing oh, at? Oh, you go messing around with bodies, you might as well be juggling with hand grenades. Yeah, I know that now. Yeah, well, I flame them all hope so. You're not worth grazing me knuckles on. I just thought I was doing him a favour. Yeah, well, just do yourself a favour and stay out of his way for the foreseeable, yeah? And stay away from any boilers. So I'm building this other one. So, uh, this is looking better. Yeah, she's on the mend. Yeah. Uh, that will come as some relief, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I like to think that I'm reasonably proficient at basic household maintenance. Really? I, I've even managed to affect serviceable repairs to more complex mechanisms. Haley's watch, for example. Right, well, please, yeah. But, but I would never be so misguided as to tamper with the workings of a combination boiler or any gas appliance, for that matter. It would be the height of recklessness. Uh, full English, please, Ryan. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I sincerely hope that you'll be more careful in future. Are you hungry? Not really, no, but you'll keep him busy when well, you finish up your dinner. Well, I won't sit there if I were you, you might get with a rotten tomato. I'll take my chances. I saw what happened with Owen. Yeah. Well, he's, he's got a right to be angry with you all have. Just not with me. Well, I thought you handled it really well. For what it's worth, I think what you did with Tyrone was amazing. Okay, it was brave and selfless above and beyond. Well, it, it made me hope that we could be friends again. We are. I mean, let's face it, I can't exactly pick and choose, can I? A few more days like today, and I'll start thinking the prison's a more friendly option. You're not gonna go to prison. All right, Tyrone shouldn't have fixed the boiler. It was a well-intended mistake, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, let's just hope that the health and safety seat like that. The investigator's coming around this afternoon. That'd be fine. But what if it's not? I mean, Ty said he'd take the rap if it started getting serious, but I mean, how could I let him do that? I could lose Ruby forever. So Fizz definitely seemed herself. How many more times? She's fine, it's the same as ever. You want to jab me so and so, you know that? No, I don't feel it. I don't know what possessed you. It's like asking Owen to do the brakes on your car, only more dangerous. All right, give it a rest. It's an honest mistake, anyone could have made it. Not me. I've got far too much flaming sense. <laughs> I don't think Lloyd's daughter would agree to you. Right, don't even go there. I'm gonna go and pick Sophie up. All right, lads. I'm looking for Tom Duckworth. Yeah, you found him. Are you, um... Yeah, Trevor Seymour. Health and safety executive. This is my colleague. 
Terry Barrett. I believe you're expecting us. Kev, can I knock off now? Yeah, of course. Let me know how you get on, yeah? They look a barrel of laughs. Yeah, no, but once Tommy's done with this, that'll be it then. What do you reckon? Health and safety are red hot when it comes to stuff like this. Oh, well, he was only trying to help out a mate. They're not going to punish him for that. <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure. Fizz could have died. If they decide to prosecute, who knows? He might even get sent down. Excuse. Mrs. Stape ask you to undertake the repair? Well, I, I sort of offered, I suppose. I mean, she was glad of the help. She was desperate. I mean, there's, there's two kids in the house. They had no water. I just thought I was doing them a favour. Yeah, I can understand that. Look, I know you are not a registered gas engineer, but have you any experience of maintaining or servicing a boiler or gas appliance? I mean, even in a, a junior or assistant capacity? No, but I, I work at the garage. It's not as if I've never worked with machinery before. I'm afraid that's not the same thing at all. Working on a car engine bears no resemblance to fixing a gas boiler. No, but I realise that now. So, can you take us through everything you did, step by step? This afternoon. Rita's flat, I guess. I'm going to have to come forward. I can't let Tommy take the rap Don't do me. anything too hasty. Let's see what the rap is first. Remember, Tommy did this of his own free will. You didn't have to twist his arm. I know, but it does No buts tied. Look, if you put your hand up now, it's just going to blow things sky high with Kirsten. And that's the last thing Tommy wants. That means he's been through his aggro for nothing. But you must have identified something as the cause of the fault. Look, I can't recall exactly what happened, all right? Look, you know what it's like. You do a lot of these things on instinct. And have you used this instinct of yours before on other boilers or gas appliances? No, it, it was a total one-off. And that's how it's going to stay, I promise. When you completed your repair, did you ask for or receive payment? No, absolutely not. It was a favour for a mate. Well, at least that was what it was supposed to be. I see. Mr Duckworth, are you aware of the possible penalties for what you've done? I can make a fair guess. There are a number of charges that could be brought against you. Some of them carry a custodial sentence. Look, if you're trying to scare me, then don't bother. I'm scared to death as it is, but not a prison about what I might have done to my friend. I'm gonna get a lamp out and start shining it in my face. You're gonna be right, Grilly. He's only doing his job, I suppose. This is a serious matter. Deadly serious sometimes. It's nice to do a little at cost last order, eh? Oh, I don't know. If I had to go home to Brian, I think I'd babysit for every child in a 20 mile radius. <laughs> Pint and a vodka and tonic, please. You sort your dress out? No, you can fish all you like. I'm telling you nothing. Suffice to say, come the big day, I don't think you'd be disappointed. <laughs> sure. I still don't know. You could be so stupid. Do you know I nearly died from carbon monoxide poisoning once? I'm sorry. Oh, that inspector had every right to do what he did. He had it coming. All right. I hope we throw the book at you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they're not taking any more action. Yeah, he uh, might have put the frighteners on me, but you can see how sorry I was. Let me off with a warning. What are you doing on that phone, Sean? You've been fiddling with it all morning. I'm using the calculator to work out how many pairs of knickers I've stitched since I started it. Why? It turns out it's 160,000. How many? Well, give or take 5,000. If you laid them end-to-end, -end, they'd stretch from here to Bradford. Oh, oh, put it away. You're making me feel dizzy. Oh, look, it's fizz. Oh. Can you come here? No fear. I'll see you in the pub. Oh, it's good to see you back. Well, how are you feeling? Yeah, my head's a bit sore, but I'm a lot better, thank you. Hope you've got that boiler fixed. Yeah, the landlord got something in over the weekend. You were lucky there. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Good old Tina, eh? Yep, good old Tina. Oh, well, we'll you. let you settle in. Oh, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. See you later. Thanks, you just take care of yourself now. I will do. Thanks, Tula. Shame about you and Fizz. She's the cause of it. She did nearly just die because of that dodgy boiler. So what? Well, don't you think you could give her a break? She tried to split me and Tyrone up in case you'd forgotten. I know, but uh, well, it's times like these that you can take the opportunity to put bad blood behind you. She'd have to do more than nearly die before I change my thinking. Oh. Well, on a happier note, how are your wedding plans going? Really good. Actually, that reminds me, I was going to ask you if you fancied being a bridesmaid. A bridesmaid? Well, in fact, it's a maid of honour. Oh, 
Look no further, I'd be thrilled. Are the uh, invitations in the post then? Oh, it's only going to be a small day. Does that mean I'm not getting one? I didn't think you'd want to come. Well, I'd like to come. I'm me. Mm. I think we'd better think again then. You are having a night though, aren't you? Mm. Oh, yeah. Good. So who's do you going on? Kirsty's N or Tyrone Stag? Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Milking it for all she's worth. Right, so she's home then. Oh, she loves being centre of attention. <laughs> Pathetic, really. How was your day at work? I asked Julie to be my maid of honour. And is she up for it? Yeah, she's absolutely over the moon. Have you thought about who you want for your best man? Do I have to bother with all that? Yes. Have you thought about Kirk? He's good, mate. Sean was angling for an invite. I didn't have the heart to say no. Well, I thought I was keeping this low key. Oh, don't be no misery. It's going to be the happiest day of our lives. Why shouldn't we share it? Yeah, you're right. And then I was thinking, well, if I've invited Sean, I can't leave the others out. And well, I'd really like Emily to be there. Quiet and intimate, you said. <laughs> I think it's lovely that everyone's so happy for us. Come on. Let's make it a day to remember. <laughs> Kirsty's let you out on a school night, eh? What's that in aid of? Well, actually, I wanted to ask you something. I get this all the time. People wanting to pick me brains. <laughs> Go on, then. Pick away. How do you fancy being my best man? You're joking me. Well, say, yeah, I can be your plus one. Well, it's nothing really. We're just going to keep it really low-key. It'd be a total honour. Mm. Well, like I say, it's not going to be a big do. No bridesmaids are out, just Julia's maid of honour. Oh, excellent. That gives me one less thing to do. You've lost me. The best man's supposed to sleep with a maid of honour. Eh? Uh, hello? Don't mind me. It's just tradition, Beth. Nothing personal. But me and Julie have already done it. So I'm just saying, one less thing to do. Good. That's one less thing I'll have to do and all. Smash a flaming face in. Same again when you've got a minute. Oh, right. I'm, yep. How's that been, man? I'm going to start working on my speech. Same again, please, Tina. You all right, Ty? Only you seem a bit... It's unbearable having to lie to everyone. Well, it'll soon be over, won't it? Hey, Ty, what do you fancy for your stag night? I'm thinking strippers in police uniforms. Hey. Last thing to me, my best man. He's well chuffed. The phone's going to hate me after this. No, they won't. Not when the truth comes out. They think they're celebrating something special with us. How are they going to feel when they find out it's one big, fogly lie, eh? Isn't it? You can be sunning yourself in some exotic location, but still there's a little bit of it that hankers after being back at work. I'd hardly call Palm Springs exotic. <laughs> Humid, certainly. Exactly how long is this going to go on? Uh, you'll need to be more specific. How long is what going? You! This! Oh, if you are referring to my objection to being manipulated like a puppet in the Mary and Haley show, you really can be a very stubborn man, you know, Roy. Oh, no, what's up? Roy refuses to bury the hatchet with Mary. The woman is an intractable tyrant. Whose scandalous references to my soggy bottom volumes was an insult too far. Yes, yes, I know all that, but there's not been any real harm done, has there? I beg to differ. When one is offered help in time of need, one should accept in the spirit of uncritical gratitude. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, oh where are you? Where are you? What is it? Is it your bag? Come here, come here. Okay, Audrey. Oh, right, um, uh... How can you be undecided when you've been standing there for nigh on five minutes? All right, all right. Uh, three coffees, please, Fizz. Oh, and one of your lovely bacon sandwiches for David. I mean, where that lad brought it, I don't know. <sighs> OK, coming up. All right. <sighs> oh. Audrey, would you just be able to take a seat for me for a couple of minutes? I've just got some cleaning up to no, do. I'll tell you what I'll do, Fizz. I'll just take the coffees for now, and then uh, David can always pop back later for his sani, can't yeah. he? I'm sorry. All right. I came in here for a full English. I reckon by the time I get served, I'll be ordering tea and scones. I'm going as fast as I can, Norris. Yes, well, it's not fast enough. When one is working in the service industry, the emphasis should be on the word service. Am I right? <gasps> Sorry, Audrey, there you go. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Faye. Thanks, Audrey. Oh, thank goodness! Oh, well, Dr. Carter's given him painkillers, but there's nothing that Chelsea can do, apparently. Well, what about this place? <sighs> well, don't look at me! I'm already late. It's my first day back, Roy. I can't let Carla down. Hang on, Anna's at her brother's oh. in Liverpool. Uh, Ken's busy with school business. <laughs> I would if I could, you know that, Roy. Uh, OK, what about Mary? No, yes. never! Nobody ever choked to death swallowing his pride, you know. 
I'm really sorry, Fizz. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, but what about my breakfast? There's no clean pans. Right? Yeah. What's that? Ham sandwich. I said cheese. Cheese ham. You do see the difference. If you care to take a seat, we shall happily make you a fresh sandwich. We? And presumably it'll be on the house, you know, due to the inconvenience. Oh, my dead body. Yeah, right. Oh, good. Sorry, yours was two bands, two coffees. Yeah. Oh. 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 May I help you? No, no, thank you. That, that shan't be necessary. As you wish. Oh, for goodness sake, you can barely lift your little finger, let alone that thing. Mary, please wait. Look, I am drowning in a sea of pots and pans and the woman's offering to help. However, if I'm not wanted... Oh, very well. Oh, Mary, there is a penny here with your name on it. I can assure you that those deviating from the queue will not be served any sooner. Yes, madam. Ta-da! That's amazing! That was so good! I really thought I was going to have to buy Roy a new one. I've tried many things over the years. Mother always used to swear by vinegar or by carbonate of soda, but I find a small cup of washing powder and... Rhubarb. I'm sorry if you think what I'm saying is... Now, you gently boil the rhubarb in the pan, it cleans it right off. There's something natural in it. You know. Well, yes, I do believe I've heard of that, but not very practical. And it does mean that our customers' baked beans don't taste as if they've been sprinkled with soap. Hi. Hiya. I'm glad you're OK. Yeah, I'm fine. What can I get you? Um, a bacon balm and a cup of tea, please. And I'll have a diet lemonade. I won't be able to fit in my wedding dress, don't I? Don't you think you'd be better off having a lie down upstairs? I'm fine here, thank you very much. Tea, diet, lemonade. Okay, so, head night. Mm. What do you think? I'm, I'm not shirking my duties, I just, I want to give you what you want. Well, Tyrone will be up the pub and Emily said she'd have Ruby, so I was just thinking something small at mine, maybe. Low-key and intimate. Perfect. Mm. I'll get the girls to bring a bottle, that sort of thing. Sounds great. Oh. To be honest, all we've run up is exciting and everything, but the only part I really care about is standing there and facing the man I love, saying my vows, till death us do part. Oh, that's beautiful. Hi, um, a chocolate muffin and a teeter. Yep, coming up. Everything all right? No. OK, still was in. Well, I did tell you to put garlic on. You all right? Mm. Over the door, didn't I? Yeah. She was sat there banging on about how in love she is with mm. Tyrone. And how she can't wait to say the vows. Yeah, listen. Listen to me, right? Tyrone loves you. And that's what you need to hang on to. Yeah, I know. I know you're right. But having to ignore him when we're out and knowing that when I'm lying in bed at night thinking of him, he's in bed with her. Yeah, thinking of you. Oh, you're nearly there, right? One more week. Yeah. And it feels like ages since I've seen him. I just miss him, that's all. Mm. Get you blue. Okay. Sometimes we lie in there in bed. And suddenly, I really fancy it. Oh, not in front of Roy. He's got a bad back. No, no, I'm talking about a fried egg. Nothing better, is there? <laughs> you know. I sometimes think there's a truly compelling argument in favour of the simpler things in life. Mm, sorry? Well, the birth boganules and stroganoffs of this world are all very well, but as Delia says, a perfectly fried egg is a glory to behold. Well, I thought it was burnt. Burnt? Well, it looks all right to me, right? The lightly brown frilly edge is completely intentional, I assure you. One tablespoon of bacon fat in a cold pan... Oh, well, well, that's where you're going wrong. No, everyone's got their own way of doing it right. A knob of butter into a hot pan cooked over a medium heat. I think you'll avoid another disaster. That is... No, it... Mary, stop. It didn't mean anything by it, did you, Roy? Come on, she doesn't have to be here. She's doing us a favour. She deserves your gratitude, not your criticism. If Mary's prepared to put your differences aside, don't you think you should be prepared to meet her halfway? Be the bigger person. I apologise. I accept. Oh, excellent. Tyrone! How are you doing? The 
was in uh, the South Fizz earlier. Oh, is she? Not great, I'm being honest. Curse has been in the car finding her up, and she misses you. I miss her too. I'll tell you what, how about the pair of you tomorrow meeting mine while Curse is at work? Maybe you could cheer each other up? Best be going. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. I hope your back feels better, Roy. And thanks ever so much, Mary. You've been a real lifesaver. My pleasure. Can, can you not stay till Hayley gets back? Uh, only if I fancy my toddler making her own way home from nursery. Yes, yes, of course. Roy, I don't know why you don't just go up to bed. I mean, you're no use to man nor beast down here, are you? Succinctly put, but I think I shall stay. OK, right, I better run. Hello? I've missed you. Me too. Kirsty was in before, you know. Going on and on about the wedding. I felt like my head was going to explode. Well, not long now. No, I know. <coughs> I had an aunt, Mitty. <sighs> or, well, Mildred, but she thought it made her sound like a spinster headmistress, which, of course, she was. Well, anyway, Mitty was a martyr to lumbago for the best part of her adult life. <laughs> it, 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 yes, went well. Well, I can honestly say her life was transformed the day she was given some homemade liniment by a local gentleman farmer. <laughs> but, they, but they use that on horses, don't they? Oh, indeed. I can still smell it. Camphor and cinnamon, a heady combination. I believe acupuncture has enjoyed a degree of success in the lumber region. Ah, oh, yes. The modern wonders of the Orient. I could fetch you a bottle. When there's a lull. If you'd like. Please. Right, I'll see you at Tina's then. Yeah, me too. Bye. Taron? What are you doing out here? I didn't hear you coming in. Um, I, I was just going to tidy up. Ruby's asleep. What are you doing back so early? I need to get the forest number for Julie. I better get back. I'll see you later. Mary! Yes, it is I. Oh, right. That's marvellous. You're back on your feet. Where there's a will. Oh, oh yes. And uh, a deep kneading with Auntie Mitty's liniment. <laughs> Mary thought the heat might aid the process. Well, uh, whatever does the trick, eh? Yeah. Well done, Mary. <laughs> and I must say, it's great to see you both getting on so well. <laughs> I can honestly say, Hayley, that we have stood side by side. Well, Roy sat, I stood, manning the barricades, and I, for one, have thoroughly enjoyed myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Well, time to hang up your pinny. Uh, uh, about tomorrow. Yes. Uh, obviously, I am available if you need me. Well, that, that, that would be very helpful, Jess. Yes, thank you. Right. Yeah. Bye, then. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Mary. Bye. Sorry, it's, it's just where I bash it with the pram as I'm getting in and out. I'm sorry. Oh, baby, it's fine. I've done it myself a few times. Just touch it up with a bit of pain, no one will notice. No worries, I'll do it in the morning. What makes more sense to do it now, doesn't it? Ruby's upstairs. We can let the door open for half an hour to let the fumes out. Why do you men always want to put things off? Well, what are you doing? I saw the paint can when you were out by the shed earlier. No, um, we, we had some left over from the living room. You wouldn't want to bet on that, would you? But, uh, do you reckon it's a good idea leaving that door open? It's cold outside. <laughs> the the draft will blow right upstairs. <laughs> You're such a worry, Guts. Is it? No, um, it's, this is the one. <laughs> 